you how to create a form in Google Docs. Uh, Google Docs Forms or Google Drive Forms or just Google Forms, they're all the same thing, uh, are a great way to create a survey, an online survey, and get instant easy results. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm already in uh, Google Docs or Google Drive, so I'm going to click on Create, and then I'm going to go down to Form. So this is a brand new interface. Uh, the Google just launched it uh, probably in, I think, February of 2013. Uh, so it makes it even easier to create one of these forms. Uh, we're going to uh, do an ice cream sundae form, just as an example, ice cream sundae survey. And I'm going to go ahead and choose something celebratory and choose birthday balloons. And so my first question is going to be, uh, what kind of ice cream would you like? Now for this one, I'm going to go ahead and have multiple choice. So you can choose vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. And we'll go ahead and we'll give the option to add an other choice as well on this one so you can see how that is. Do I need, uh, is this a required question? In other words, do I need for my respondent to answer this question in order for the form to be valid? Sure, we'll go ahead and make that a required question. And I'm done with that one. So now they will not be able to submit their form unless they have, because of that little red asterisk, uh, unless they have uh, answered this question. Let's go to our next question. What kind of syrup would you like? And we're going to make this a multiple choice also. We are going to offer hot fudge, uh, caramel, or strawberry topping. We're not going to give them another option in this one. Uh, again, uh, actually this time I'm going to make it optional. They can have, why don't we say, no syrup. And then finally, any additional toppings. And again, we're going to make this one more multiple choice. And we'll offer the choice of peanuts, uh, almonds, or my wife's favorite, rainbow sprinkles. Now, uh, for this one, we're going to offer them uh, a choice to have more than one. So I'm going to do check boxes instead so they could check. And I'm also going to put in the help de de uh, text check all that apply so that they can choose more than one. Uh, and I'm going to be done with that. So there's our survey so far. And then finally, if we're doing an ice cream sundae party and we want to make sure that every one Sunday is all ready to go for them when they arrive at the party. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask for first name. And we're going to make this a text box. And then their last name. And we're going to make this a text bo box also. And then uh, finally, I would like your profound thoughts on ice cream sundaes. So if people want to get philosophical, we're going to give them a paragraph text uh, with which to respond there. And you notice there's a bigger box there. And so now, show the link to submit another response. I only want them to submit one time. Um, because we're involving first and last names, I don't want them to publish and show a link to the results of this form. But if this were just a survey, like an opinion survey, then we would go ahead and click that box. Allow responders to edit responses after submitting? Sure, we'll go ahead in this particular case. Um, if they want to go back and change any information, they can do that. And I'm going to click Send Form. Uh, so now I have this link, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that. That's a Command C on the Mac, Control C if you're on a PC. Uh, and if I wanted to, I could also embed this. It would give me HTML code to embed it if I wanted to embed it into a blog or into a Google site. In this case, I just want to send this link out. So you can send this out uh, via Twitter. You can send it out on Facebook. You can send it out via email. Uh, you copy and paste this link, and then we're done. Now we go ahead and send this link out, and what people will see on the other end, when they click on this link, this is what they're going to see is the form. And so what kind of ice cream? I want vanilla with hot fudge and I think I would like peanuts and rainbow sprinkles. Uh, here's my name 
and I love ice cream sundaes very much. I could go on and on since I have more space to do that. I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. Uh, your response has been recorded. I could have edited that text if I wanted to as well. Do I want to, as a respondent, do I want to edit my response? I get that option to do that, but I think I'm done. So I close that. And so that's what your respondents would see. Now you notice that instantly we got feedback. And let's go ahead and let's look at those responses. This is the best part about Google Forms is it puts all the information into a spreadsheet. So I can see the time that that person submitted their entry, and I see all the data right here. I can go ahead and sort that data now. I can sort it um, by time submitted. I could sort it by the number of vanilla scoops that I need. I could sort on any of these. I could sort by last name. Um, it's, it's really up to you. So with Google Forms, uh, there's really a lot that you can do with this. Um, you can create applications, online applications for your club or organization. Um, you can create a survey form. So many different things you can do. The possibilities are limitless. Uh, so enjoy using Google Docs forms, and thanks for listening.